next we have Nikki Wang of Manila Standard. Hi, Nikki. Yes. Oh my God. Hi, good Or good evening, na ba? Hi, Nikki. Hi. Hi, hey, Miss Sharon. Good evening. Good afternoon. Ah, uh, ikaw na unang kontanong yun. Ah, nawala ulit si Miss Sharon. Anyway, ah, uh, there. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I'll shoot my first question, Miss Sharon. Ah, uh, yeah. well, you're a very amiable person. Now. Would it be possible for you to be friends with someone like Carmela in real life? And yeah. if so, how I would have friends you... like her. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so how would you describe Carmela? Not as the actor who played the character, but as someone who can relate with her. In the first place, is Carmela kasi is a decent person, my character. Mm-hmm. Decent siya eh. Um, kaya nga doon siya nagulat sa sa pagdating niya sa party but it also opened her eyes to a lot of things na uh, that, are, that actually have a deeper meaning than yung labas nila sa trailer o sa mga inaakala siguro ng audience na magiging mga eksena mm-hmm. so um, i hope that they watch the movie and, and and really understand the message na gustong iparating ni Direk Daryl at namin nila Marco at ni Osang sa kanila Thank you. Also, I would like to share, no, uh, since a lot of fans have shared earlier, my name is Nico, not Nikki. But anyway, I Nico. use Nico as a name. Nico, oh, of course. Nico is from but biting walang naming. That's, that's Christopher correct. Dillon's name. My mom is a name. big fan. <laughs> oh my God, I love your mom for naming you Nico. You, Christopher Dillon is my forever crush, you know. Right. Yeah, and he's the only one that did not legal me. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Sharon, and uh, good luck to your film. I, thank you so much, Nico. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. I hope to meet you in person very soon. Yes, well, thank you, Miss Sharon. Now, thank my you. next question I would like to uh, ask Direct Daryl. Hi, Direct. Hold on, I'll I'll get my charger lang. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, kanina sabi ni 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 Miss Sharon na. Uh, Your your main goal here is for for the audience to understand the character that you created here in the movie. So my question is, of course, every story, every character has an inspiration. So, what is the inspiration of Carmela, and uh, what are you trying to, or what are you aiming to achieve with uh, Revirginized? Um, the inspiration of Carmela is Sharon Caneta. I when mm-hmm. I when I said. Uh, to Viva when I ask my friend Chad to deliver the message that I have intentions I, I, I have an ambition to work with her I want to give the public the most shocking Sharon Coneva so that was the goal so that was the goal and being in Viva I have no eyes but it should be done with Marco it's like that so sabi ko uh, the hindi ko siya matatawag na inspiration eh. Ambition siya talaga. Right. Nung tinanong ako, anong, anong movie ang ipipitch mo kay Sharon? I pitched two movies. Yung isa, yung nga yung mabait na movie. But it was just, ano, it was, uh, of course, kailangan maganda rin yung kwento nun para makuha ko yung attention niya. Nagustuhan niya yung movie na yun. So we are bound to talk about that movie. Kaso, nung nag-pitch ako, uh, Nikki, ang pinitch ko, yung Revirginize. Right. So nung nag-pitch ako doon, Al- yun ang gusto ko talagang gawin. Ay, hindi ko siya pwedeng i-email as is. Kasi baka huminto sa isang slide si Sharon pag nabasa niya. So sabi ko, kailangan ako to, ako magkukwento. So nung kinuwento ko, ano ako, sobrang saya ko lang na sinabi niya, hindi ko alam kung anong nagawa mo sa akin, pero napa-oo ako. So something like that. So, eh, ako naman, ang, ang, pina- ang gusto ko lang sabihin sa pelikulang ito ay dalawa eh. Dalawa yan. Number one, uh, my mom is a Sharonian, parang nanay mo. So, <laughs> alam, may intindihan natin. Alam mo naman ang pangalan ng kapatid ko, Cassandra Sarina. Casey yun. So, Casey din ang kapatid ko. <laughs> so, nakaka-relate ako sa pagkakaniko mo. Ang, ano, oh. At tapos, ang nanay ko, Nico, ang nanay ko nung nakita si Sharon, sobrang plain. Sobrang, naka, sobrang weird. Parang, parang hindi siya fan. Pero nung natapos, nasa ka nagsisisigaw. Sinair ko lang ha. So, <laughs> so nung karap si Sharon, parang kunyari wala siyang pakialam. Anyways. Inag-professional <laughs> Yes. So, ako, 
the main goal is number one, sinabi ko to kay uh, Sharon, that the main goal is number one, to make the millennials, to make the Gen Z realize who Sharon Coneta is, why she is megastar, why she is still relevant. And so, yun yung unang-una. No? I, want to, I want to tell a story, not of Carmela, but of Sharon, who, uh, who is actually an actress for all ages. Yun yung sinabi ko sa kanya. And number two, I want to create a film that will be remembered throughout uh, throughout the rest of my career. So, sabi ko nga, nagsasorry na ako kila Kim Molina, kila Gerald, nagsasorry din ako kila Osang, kila Maui. Sabi ko, pero sa ito ang pinakamahalaga kong pelikula sa ngayon, sabi ko. At ang mga kaibigan ko sa industriya, sila Kim Molina, Maui Taylor Aramina, lahat sila, natutuwa ako na pinopromote yung Revirginize. Kaya ako naiiyak kanina mula pag-gising ko. Ang Thank you, Frenyo! Very, very. Sabi ko, uh, maintindihan ko sila ara kasi kilala naman nila si Sharon. Pero yung iba kong friends sa uh, sa showbiz na hindi pa namimit si Miss Sharon Caneta, they're very, ano, they're very supportive. So that's it. Plainly, number one is to give uh, give uh, this generation the Sharon Caneta feels. Right. And number two, to actually create a movie that will be remembered talaga. That's nice to know. Thank you, Daryl. Um, sorry, ano na lang. Uh, I would just like to ano lang to, to follow up lang, Giselle, if kung pwede lang. Kasi sabi kasi ni, ni, ni Daryl, um, iba yung movie na uh, first na binigay mo kay, kay Miss Sharon. And you were hesitant pa dito sa pangalawa, dito sa Re- Virginize. Why is that? Sorry, sorry. Um, kanina sabi mo, um, parang pangalawang story itong Revirginize na pinitch mo kay Miss Sharon. And you were parang, inuna mo yung parang maseryoso or something. Why is yes, that? Yes. Why you were no. hesitant? No, no, no. That, uh, that, that was a scheme. That was really a tactic. No? Ah, I see. Uh, 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 kapag, pinitch ko, kapag pinitch ko kasi itong Revirginize through email, baka ma-reject. Kasi hmm. hindi ko ma-explain ng maayos. So nag so nag Nagpasa ako sa mga managers ni Sharon sa Viva at saka kay Sharon ng isang seryosong ano, seryosong pelikula. Nung nakuha ko na 'yung attention nila, nung pinapa-pitch na ako via Zoom, hindi ko 'yun pinitch, eto pinitch ko. Sabi ko, "Papa, pakinggan niyo muna 'to, mga ma, mga sir." Tapos saka ako pitch 'yung Paatuhod. The, the film, the film that I first passed was uh, Paatuhod Balikat Ulo. Mm-hmm. Tapos uh, after noon, etong reverberation na ako. So after the pitching, pinitch ko pa rin yung paatuhod. After the pitching, tinanong ni Boss Vic si Sharon. So, anong gusto mo unang gawin? Sabi ni Sharon, gawin natin parehas pero gusto ko nang unahin tong reverberation. And the rest is history. Okay, so that's the story. Again, thank you Daryl. Thank you just telling me Sharon. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Nikki. I didn't know na kasama pa lang ang pangalan mo ano Nikki ano from ano from between so between mo lang ningning ba? Nico. Ba? Like, uh, Nico yung, yes yung yes. Okay so uh, now let's have um yan ang dami ang daming tanong parang feeling ko hanggang 9 o'clock tayo dito. <laughs> sunod sunod ah uh, hanggang 6 lang ako may shoot ako. <laughs> shoot ka. Si si Ate Shawi ba hanggang ano oras? Okay, so uh, let's call in Aina Medina of Rise and Shine Pilipinas PTV4. Hello po. Hi Aina. Uh, hi. So my questions first... lang ah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so my first question is for Miss Sharon. Nandiyan pa ba siya? Yes, of course. Nandiyan pa yan. Mm-hmm. Okay, sige. So, Miss Sharon, we all know naman kung gano'n mo ka-love ang Sharonians, di ba, ang iyong fans. So, ano yung pakiramdam na medyo hati yung opinion nila dito sa ginawa mong movie? So, medyo nabangko ka ba? Ano po yung na-feel mo? Uh, I think, ano, I'm not sure. Baka, baka sumubo yung kasi, ano eh, <laughs> dinner time na. <laughs> <laughs> Kanina pa tayo. <laughs> oh, so maybe sana ano. All, maybe... Sana all, sana all. Sana all. Diba? <laughs> Kasi di ba pinadalan siya ng food? <laughs> sana all. <diba? laughs> pinadalan siya ng food ng chef from Binyan. So uh, maybe uh, Aina, maybe you can ask uh, Direk or Marco. Tama-tama ko si Direk's gonna leave na. Uh, 
Okay po. Siguro kay uh, Marco po muna. Yan. Okay. Hi Marco. So my question is, after nitong movie na Reversionize, do you think malaki ang chance na mas ma-inlove ka na sa mga babaeng older than you? Uh, well, sa totoo lang ako talaga, I don't really look at age when it comes to love. Siguro para sa akin kung sino yung talagang, if you feel the love with this person regardless of the age, siguro parang kumbaga okay lang para sa akin. Yes, okay. Sige, since wala pa si uh, Miss Sharon, direct, direct, Daryl. Siguro ikaw na lang yung sumagot. Ay, ayan na siya. Ay, ay, ginamit ko na yung hotspot ko. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry. What's your name? Wala Hi, ako. Sharon. I'm Aina po from PTB4. Rise Hi, Aina. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Thank yeah. you din po. Yan, Miss Sharon, my question po is... Uh, since we all know kung gano'n niyo po ka-love ang Sharonians, ang iyong fans, no, na-bother ka po ba na hindi 100% or hate yung opinion nila because you did this movie? Hindi. Hindi. Kasi I, I have always had faith in my Sharonians. They've always supported me. They've always accepted me for who I am. Flaws, mistakes, pagkakamali, kapalpakan. at yung pagkatao ko as a whole. Minahal nila ako at alam nilang totoo ako. So, pag masaya ako, masaya ako, malungkot ako, malungkot ako, pag galit ako, nang di ko na mapigil, alam nila because I, I, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very transparent. So, alam kong malawak, malawak ang isip ng mga Sharon yan. So, and um, I just... I am, alam, ang, ang cute nung lumabas yung trailer, na shock, pero alam mo yung shock na natutuwa. Siyempre, may ilan na, oh no, it's not the Sharon I grew up with. I'm sorry. Parang di niya, di niya kaya. Pero I hope she gives it a chance or those people that feel that way also. Um, I hope they give it a chance because it's not, you know, I wouldn't do a movie just for the sake of being vulgar. There's always, um, there are different characters and actor is, is actually um, it's an actor's responsibility to portray different roles and that's that's just what I'm doing and that's what I did here and I'm very proud of Carmela and of Revirginized I'm very proud of this movie um, because it has meron siyang ano eh, meron siyang saving grace the ending she had to go through all that to go to get to the ending na importante. Yes, and ako po very happy ako na ito po yung movie nyo na inabutan ko. Kasi sabi, <laughs> sabi nyo nga nila, di ba, yung ibang press talagang hindi ito yung nakasanayan nilang movie. Pero ako happy ako na makita kayo dito sa movie na to. Thank you. Sana matuwa ka. Sana katuwaan mo. Tsaka sana makatouch din sa heart mo. Thank you po. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Aina. Thanks, and now Aina. we have Angeli Marie Authentico. All from Dubai. So, Ate Shawi, this is Anjali. Hi, Anjali. You're, it's now you're here. Hi, Anjali. Thank you for coming back. Hi. Wala pa rin. Baka lagi siyang nawawala. Parang alam yung wifi ko siguro. Medyo, I know. Ngayon, naka-hotspot ka na, hindi ka na mawawala. Akala namin, kumain ka na. Sabi ni Daryl, sana all. Gutom na rin si Direct Daryl. Direct na may musik ko yung pancit mo. At saka yung tart mo. Nagpapabilita ako ng Japanese cheesecake na yan. Direct, bilang low sugar. Wala daw eh. Anong tawag dito? Wala daw. Oh, ngayon sa Philippines. Oh, wala ah. daw sa Philippines. Parang Direct because of... Na, iiyak ako. <laughs> yes, because of the pandemic, parang wala na, hindi na nag... Ano, uh, oh, no! Hindi na nag... Wala akong padala from Japan. May pinadala kasi ako kay Miss Sharon na ano, ipapadala Tokyo, ko rin si... Tokyo, cheesecake. Si Marco, si Marco. Yes. Yes. Sobrang oh. sarap din. Hindi ako mahilig sa cheesecake, pero yun parang sobrang sarap. Oo, oh, dahil hindi matamis. At saka low, low sugar talaga siya. So... Anyway, uh, Anjali, wala pa. Okay, pa. wala pa si Anjali. But Ian Batingal of Net25 Eagle News is here. Hi, Ian. Okay, wala din. No po, no po. <laughs> Ayun na, there, there. Okay, hi, Ian. Ayun na po ako ng newscast ng dami na lang sa East na. Wait lang po. Naku, sorry. 
<laughs> Inabot namin. O oh, sige, balikan ka na lang namin. Ayan, ayan. It's okay, it's okay. Back. Yes. Bali, to Miss Sharon po, ma'am. Kumusta po kayo? Ayan, uh, hello kumusta po. ka? Hello po, kanag-25 na miss na po kayo ng ilang kapatiran. <laughs> Ay, maraming salamat, maraming maraming salamat. Miss ko rin pa- kayo. <laughs> miss Sharon, uh, paano niyo po hinaharap ang kasalukuyang sitwasyon po ngayon ng mundo? And how this how did this movie helps you para mas lalo pa pong mahalin niyo ang karera niyo ngayon sa show business? Napakagandang tanong. Una yung sitwasyon sa mundo, yung pandemya at yung mga gerang nangyayari. Marami ring mga nagugutom sa buong mundo, hindi lang sa Pilipinas. Pero syempre dahil Pilipino tayo, ang concern kong numero uno ay ang nangyayari dito. Uh, of course, of course it's a worldwide pandemic, but I'm more I'm most concerned about how it's affecting our people, our country. Um lalo na yung may hirap, lalo't mag-i-ECQ ulit sa August 6. Ang I was so worried. Narinig ko nung nasa LA pa ako, ang narinig ko parang baka mag GCQ. Say ko buti naman GCQ lang kasi pag ECQ kawawa naman yung wala na namang trabaho yung mga tao or lalo na yung may hirap magugutom lalo wala na namang ano mo yun, tapos biglang na, nabalita ako mag ecq that really bothers me until now. Binibilang ko ang araw, oh no, parang ito na, parang lapit na, ito, nagkataon, di dalawang araw na lang, ECQ na. Sana nakapaghanda sila kasi nung walang, kahit nung walang ECQ, ang daming hirap na hirap um, sa mga kababayan natin. Lalo na ngayon, mag ecq ulit na sana makatulong din sa pag pagbawas ng mga um, kaso ng infections ng mga mahawa. Pero sana mag-ingat din sila at ang panlaban ko na lang at magagawa ko ay magdasal talaga. Dahil wala naman talaga sa atin ang may control nito. Maaari yung mga gumawa ng vaccines, nagkaroon ng, ng tulong muna sa Diyos para makabawas, makatulong. Pero hindi pa nawawala ang pandemya, lalong lumalala. Diba? So, I pray to God. I think we're all praying to God na mawala na ito. But I think also it's teaching us a lot of lessons. Um, sa pandemya ito, I think it's really a time out of, uh, I think in our whole history, hindi natin, sabi nila every hundred years may pandemya. Ngayon sabi nila, after this pandemic, there will be another one right away. And then another, and then another. Hindi na every hundred years. It might come more often. Um, and I pray hindi naman ganun. So, um, sana mag, mag, sama-sama tayong magdasal para yun lang talaga eh. It's out of our hands. Wala tayong control. Makakatulong ang ang siyensya, ang medisina, pero sa tulong pa rin ng may kapal yan. Pero yung talagang I feel bad for those na nawala ng mga mahal sa buhay. I feel so bad for those na may sakit pa. Uh, mga pamilyang hindi na nga makakain, nakakasakit pa. Or lalo mag-i-ECQ, magugutom na naman, may magkakasakit lalo, hindi nakapagtatapos ng skwela, may nawawa. Ang daming nawawala, lalo na buhay, ng mahal sa buhay. So, ang um, basta lang ang ano ko, ang aking matutulong, yun lang. Tsaka kung ano mong meron kami na pwede pa namin itulong. Pero sana magsama-sama tayo at magdasal, baka, baka nagpapaalala siya na masyado na tayong libre at nagkakaroon ng sobrang power paggawa ng sarili nating mga mga laws ika nga na hindi angkop sa mga sa mga laws ng Panginoon so sa mga utos marami na sigurong patayan nakawan inggitan um, uh, paninira ng kapwa di ba so um, sana ma- matuto tayo para magkaroon siya ng awa sa atin pero Mahal tayo ng Diyos, hindi naman niya ito binigay para asarin tayo. Hindi ganun yun. Um, meron lang sa mga hinahayaang mangyari all through our history. Uh, bago pa pinaganak si Jesus, marami nang inaalawang Panginoon na mangyari talaga. Para for His own reasons na minsan nalalaman natin late na. Diba? So, 
Ian, I'm thank sorry so to uh, yeah. Thank you so thank much you. Thank, thank, thank you, Ian. Okay. Uh, the direct needs to go, Ate Shawi. So I'd like to uh, call direct back. Do magpapaalam lang siya to invite everybody sa movie. Kore, invite everybody because I think we're keeping them too long. Ian, <laughs> ah. Uh, sa lahat po ng kaibigan natin sa press, uh, masaya-masaya po ako na four pages tayo sa Zoom na to. At nandito kayo lahat. Mukhang, matagal, <laughs> mukhang mahaba-habang inuman pa po ito. Ako ay may shoot pa. At ako po ay may nagpapasalaman. May shoot ka Nagseselos ako. Bakit hindi ako <laughs> artista? Kaya mag-uusap ako ni Boss Vic. <laughs> Maraming salamat po sa suporta ninyo. Revirginize po the number one um Uh, film in KTX uh, pre-sold uh, record po. Tapos ngayon, record again, ang unang pelikulang Pilipino na ipapalabas ngayong panahon ng pandemya sa US at Canada. Yun lang po ay uh, malaki ng tagumpay para sa amin. Pero kami po ay uh, nagpapasalamat ng uh, uh, lugos. Uh, sa'yo, uh, tayo dito Marco, huwag ka magal na may pitch ako sa Viva. Kasa lang medyo bad boy ang pitch ko. Eh. Pero alam ko gusto mo yung mga ganyan. Hindi mo ko sa ganyan pala. direct, kailan mo ako. <laughs> yes. Direct! Pero, Dapat yung kasama tayo uli, si Marco. Yes, si Marco, yes, si yes. yes. <laughs> mm. yun ako rin direct, sama mo. <laughs> <laughs> Sige. So, mega, uh, sabi nga nila, kahit pa ulit-ulit mong sabihin na kahit pa ulit-ulit mong ipagtanggol ang pelikulang ito na minahal mo at iyong pinagmamalaki, hindi pa rin may pagkakahilan ng kahit na sino na ako bilang isang hamak na director. Ah, 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 ikaw po ang aking pangarap na between. Maraming maraming salamat, Mega. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa aking pamilya sa Viva. I love you. Pasensya na po kayo. Ang dami kong nakaschedule. Kazoom, may, kazoom ko rin mamay. Alam ko, love na love mo din si Joel Torre. At, oh uh, my God, yes. Between mo lang ng Lillian Veles. Yes, ito lang ni Sir Joel. So, um, um, maraming maraming salamat po, Giselle. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. Revirginize August 6. Maraming salamat po. I love you, Direk. I miss Hi, Direk. you. Direk. Love you. Thanks, Direk. Congratulations again. Ate Shawi, don't leave yet kasi ang dami pang tanong. We have no. questions from Dolly and Carvajal, Ricky oh, Calderon, okay, okay, Aster okay. Amoyo, all of your friends. Okay, so, so, kailangan sagutin mo daw to lahat. Mga midnight tayo dito. Pero, okay. Kasi siguro mga short answers na lang or something. Don't okay. leave me. Don't leave me muna, Pao. Okay. Um, don't How leave now, I know. I, kasi, uh, this is one for Marco, one for Ate okay. Shawi. Okay, so for Ate Shawi from Dolly and Carvajal of Inquirer, what's your advice to women your age who are wary of being re-virginized because they don't want to leave their comfort zone? Oh, no. That's really, that's really on a... That's an individual, everybody has something of their own. It's an individual thing for every woman. Um, actually, pati lalaki eh. Um, some are always scared. They probably feel trapped and need to follow certain norms of society. They feel tied to that. And But you know what? As you age, I think you should let go a little because, well, first of all, They say nga, you only live once. I really believe in that. Although it doesn't mean, yeah, go do everything you want in spite of, uh, you know, no matter who you hurt, no matter who who gets sagasaan or, you know, step, step on. No, I don't think that's not right. That's not what I mean. What I mean is live your life according to what your heart tells you as far as you can take it and as much as possible without hurting other people. Um Uh, if there are dreams that have remained unfulfilled because things have stopped you, take you know just don't waste any more time. Because ako, it 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 dawned on me when I hit 50 na oh my my mortality dawned on me. Parang oh yeah, I'm not gonna live forever. I don't feel like I did when I was 30. Na dami pang taon. Parang wow, how many more years do I have left? That's why also my love for dogs, I may mean, I just connect. My love for dogs really came out because wow, I have a puppy now. It will live 10 to 15 years. I'll be what, 65, 70? And 
I, I just don't want to run out of people to love inside my home because my kids are going to eventually get married and move out. Hopefully not, but they will, of course. But And then Kiko and I will get old and I really hope I go before him because I wouldn't know what to do if he went before me. But also back to the question, gather your courage. You've earned it. You have lived your life up to your present age, probably because of our culture, sticking to what society has demanded of you and um, trying to stay respectable that way. But I'll tell you this, respect is nice to have, but also let go a little and give yourself a chance, a little bit of freedom to earn a little more self-respect and love yourself a little more. Um, give yourself a chance to be happy. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, do, do what you feel you must. If you are trapped in an unhappy relationship, it is your decision to make. Yours and yours alone. No one else's. Because no one knows what you go through when you go to sleep at night, if you can sleep at all. Nobody cries with you when you're crying alone. Um, and if, it, it, if it's salvageable, save it. But if you know you've done everything you could to keep it and it's still not working, making you very unhappy, you don't deserve that. And I think our God is a very understanding and forgiving God. And he knows we are only human beings. So pray for guidance and make a decision and stand by it. So that, that's just one of many pieces of advice. Some of many pieces of advice. I hope that helps. Ate Shawi, ka magana ko ba si King Solomon? Ang dami mong wisdom. Ay, ganun ka na ko. Ewan ko ba? Mga experiences ko yan. Just na, tumigil ka. You read a lot. Hala tal you read a lot eh. Hala tal you read a lot na. The experiences <laughs> din yan. Experiences din yan. Kasi dati, ano-ano rin ako eh. I'm actually speaking from experience. And then I, at 21, I gathered enough courage and I prayed so much for signs. And all the signs kept coming. And I was, I was still asking for signs until the final sign came. And I said, okay, please forgive me, but I'm leaving this marriage. And then my life took a turn for the better, I think. But I still, in my heart, wish that that first marriage didn't have to break up. Um, I'm only glad that it did because now I'm with Kiko in a happy marriage. But that was a marriage I meant to be in for the rest of my life. So that, yes. yeah. Okay. For Marco, how important is the virginity of a woman to you? This is from uh, Dolly Ann Carvajal of Inquirer. Well, of course, it's, uh, it's very, very um, important sa, sa, sa At Actually, not only for girls, but also for men. Um, because it's yung purity mo eh, as a person. So always we have to respect that and uh, we have to value that. But Marco, remember, ha? I'll give you a piece of advice. Yes. If you meet a girl... That, is, that has all the qualities you look for, but is no longer a virgin for one reason or another, um, but she's decent and loving it. Remember, a woman's personality and heart does not lie in her vagina, okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There are other qualities you must remember. Okay. Yes, I'm just defending all the others that are not perfect of because course. we all want the perfect person. But I'm speaking out for women. Men are so quick about wanting virgins, but wanting also to take lots of women to bed. I'm not. I'm. I am not including Marco here because he's different. <laughs> yeah, but uh, a lot of men they like you know taking advantage of women, and then they look for someone who's perfect. And that is so unfair. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to introduce a woman like that. That's Madame Wak Wak ng pobreng millionaria from <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> Madame <laughs> Wak Wak. Ito yung pinaantay tayo, dalawang beses. Angeli Marie Authentico, pero ang tawag sa kanya, Madame Wak Wak. Tama-tama, yung just po kang magpajayas. Hoy, that's the village I used to live in. Don't naman destroy <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but that's so cute. Hi, Anjali. Hello, hello, hello po. Hello, everybody, every all. How are oh, you so today happy. and how are you tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> today we're okay. Tomorrow we don't know yet. <laughs> oh, you should still be okay at the shower because yes. you're, whatever you're feeling today is a decision for tomorrow. That's a good piece of advice. Yes. Yes. Decide yes, how you will feel today oh, and that's... it will still be the same as tomorrow. You know, can you I add to good? that? Sa, yes. I'm not at God. Giselle will like this. Tama yon. Because kasi emotions, that's why they're called emotions. They're usually uncontrollable. Diba? Right. So you have to right. use both. If you use this, you will usually be sad because you're not making your heart happy. If you use all mm-hmm. heart, sometimes you'll make stupid decisions because they're based on feelings that can change anytime and they're yes. not connected to this. So try to use both, but it doesn't always work. Okay? It doesn't always work. Um, so she- I, nothing is perfect but just to add to that that is so true um, uh, emotions you cannot help having either for a uh-huh. person or a situation but you can control how you react to those emotions exactly so you need to yeah you need to decide not to you know touch on certain emotions and you need to decide when it's time to or when you can touch on right. certain emotions and go. So with- basically, let me just elaborate a little bit of it because everything is actually it's our decision, as what you said. So if you decide if you feel good today, you should also think that you want to feel good tomorrow. So decide. It's nice. all about how you handle. Ha- I mean, how your uh, decision is. It's your outlook. Yeah, it's your it's right. your attitude. It's a mindset. Uh, yeah, it's a mindset, exactly. And if you it's start the day off with gratitude, when you say thank you in the morning, it does a lot. Yeah. Right. Thank and um, Angeli, thank regardless you. what situation you are in, we should just be happy because happiness <laughs> is a choice. <laughs> Especially if, if, not, if it's not in our control. Give it to God. Just, live, just be normal and happy. That's true. I believe in that. Yeah. Thank so, you, Tushawi, I have a question for you. Be virginized. Yes. Right. So, is there an age bracket for um, the uh, mature woman like you and me probably that uh, we should re-virginize? <laughs> um, no, the title here of the movie refers to a girl being so-called re-virginized, meaning iniwan ka sa ng asawa, at yung asawa lang niyang naging the only man in her life. So, right. parang in other no, words, but is parang, there a, an age bracket? No, like I don't let's think say so. the same situation. What do you think no, of? No, no. Uh, no, it can be any age. You can be left in your twenties, and you can be left in your thirties, and you cannot, and then you don't meet a man to you know. <laughs> to <laughs> reverse, <laughs> yeah, reverse the situation, but um, there's no there's no age for it. I think it's a it's a situation in life. It's a it's a it's something that life throws you your way. Some, sometimes it throws you a curveball. You just have to know how to handle it. So just go with the flow sometimes. And then sometimes stop, make a decision, fight it. That's, you know. So there's no age bracket. I think it's, it all has to do. You can be 40 and very immature. You can be 20 and very, very mature. But you, you could have fallen into very sad circumstances unfortunate circumstances but do not ever lose hope that you can reverse that you can make those better always your past will never does n- never should define your future it should never define your future all your mistakes in the past or all the things that you wish you could have done but wasn't weren't able to um, that means that you can still do them in the future and not repeat the mistakes that you made in the future. So, you know, your past should not define you. It's your future should. Um, you are a human being. You are designed to make mistakes. And you are also designed with a brain so that you can correct your mistakes and learn from them. Because what, what do you call someone who is insane? It's someone that does the same thing over and over again. Over and over again. Yeah. And that's yeah. stupidity. When you do the same I, I, I thing. I mean, exactly. outcome, outcome. Yeah. Yeah. And, just a follow up. Um, just a follow up. Um, say for, like, you know, you said that there is no age bracket. Yeah. For, 
for those women or same situation like you said, is there any preparation? Like there is probably mind conditioning and maybe like you wanna be uh, sexy, hearty, and whatever oh, no. to I be think, in that. No, you know what? I think you should work on keeping yourself fit and at least being healthy. You don't have to be have a Miss Universe figure. You just have to be healthy. And then if you can keep if you can keep fit and be sexy, why not? Diba? If if you can. And um you should do it first and foremost for yourself. And then if someone notices and is attracted by that, by you, then consequence na lang yun, pag bag, ng self-love mo. Kasi you, right. can't, you cannot really get into shape if you keep trying to do it for someone else. You won't, it won't last. Eh. It has to be a decision to, you make to keep yourself healthy first and foremost, especially at my age, my age bracket. Um, and then, you know, I want to see my grandchildren. Pa. And then if you can still look, like you said, like a hottie, why not? You know, flaunt it. I mean, you don't have to be vulgar. You can be decent and flaunt it. But, but I think know. it's not about the health, like, you know, like not probably physically, but, you know, like, because I think when you, I, I believe in beauty is a feeling. Yeah. It's not about the look. So if you feel beautiful, you will look beautiful. So that's because kind I, of like mind conditioning, like before you even get also- re-virginized. Yeah, that's also, you're also talking Madame about last night, uh, how you Madame feel Laura. inside when you feel really good about yourself inside and are just grateful for what you have in your life and for the people that love you around you. You know, um, I think it'll show in your face. Parang kung masungit ka at lagi kang, ano, lumalabas sa mukha eh. So kung lagi ka rin masayahin, lumalabas din yon. So it's really your aura. So right. and you're right about that. Thank you for that. But thank you so much for sharing and the thanks Bye, for your Madame. time. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Madame Jezo. Thank you. I hope to meet you in person. Thank you. Yes. God bless Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Take care. You too. Nakakatawa si Madam Wakwak. Pero parang ito yung kanyang vibe. Bakit alam mo 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 bakit Madam Wakwak? You should know why it's Madam Wakwak first. Right. Alam ko yung wak, 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 wak is aswang, di ba? Yes. And yes. why? Uh, You're ilongga. You're ilongga. No, I'm, diba? I'm Boholana. Ah, Bisaya. Bisaya. Boholana. Yes. Oh, diba? ah, Boholana. Yes. I'm from Bohol. Oh, I love yeah, Bohol. I, know. I love Bohol. My golly. I love, yes. I love Bohol too. So, Ate Shawi, can you ano daw expand from Roldan Castro of Abante tonight? Can you expand daw yun? Can you expand daw on the ano the audition dun sa Hollywood yung OFW? Can you talk about I it? I can't really no, I cannot. I cannot yeah, say yeah, yeah. producer actresses. But yeah, I had a Zoom um, with a producer's representative, David Rubin, the casting director, another casting director and uh, yeah. So it was a Zoom audition and I had someone reading with me. So who was Philip Phil Am that they put on just to read with me because the dialogue was in Tagalog and I was supposed to be an OFW in Hong Kong, but I didn't look the part. So, so you didn't make up. I foundation and I No matter how they stripped me down, I not Yun ang narinig ko lang. Woman Privileged. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, question from Ricky Calderon of The Free Kuya Man. Ricky, hello. Yes, mahal na mahal ka. Ay, For Sharon and Marco, how is it working with each other? Ay, parang yung sinagot mo na to, no? So, eto na lang. For Sharon, kumusta katrabaho? Sinagot mo na rin to. So, mag- kumusta katrabaho si De- Derek Daryl? Nasagot mo na yan, eh, no? So, yeah, yeah. I guess it's okay. From Astor Amoyo, um, ano ang discoveries ninyo sa isa't isa na first time ninyong, nung first time ninyong nagkasama-sama sa movie? Ako, si Direk Daryl, matalina talaga, magaling. Alam ang ginagawa niya, lalo siyang sumulat din ang dinerek niya. Um, masaya katrabaho, mabait ang staff at crew. Um, siyang boss nun eh. So they, of course, you follow your boss and you'll see how disciplined and professional everyone was talaga you will see how how the mo- you'll see in the movie i enjoyed working with the whole staff the crew 
Of course, I enjoyed working with Rosanna for the first time and I fell in love with Rosanna and we are such good friends now. I trust her so much. We keep in touch. I, I love her. I want to do a movie with her. And then, of course, I love my Marco. I love my Pawi. He's my baby boy. He's my... Um, oh, if, maybe you know, because he's such a good person. He has good values and we're both Christian. Maybe if I was if I was 20, 30 years younger, I would want I would want him to be my my collab team. <laughs> but for now, I just hope that my son grows up to be like Marco. Yeah, I love oh, Marco. I love Marco as a friend, as a son, as I a you, co-worker. Pawi. I love you, love you, Pawi. And here in this movie, I love him as my honey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Um, it's getting late, so I, I know okay. that you know you guys are hungry, na rin. <laughs> Diyan na yung food mo. Oh, and and na yung food mo, ate no, shall we? So I have a microwave, and I'm just worried about everybody because we've been on for hours. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm, oh, so I we'll make paalam na. I'll, and and I'll, I, I know, parang your eyes are kind of parang heavy na, parang yeah, ano na. Kasi, na. alam mo ba kahapon, Pawi yesterday, <laughs> I was holding yeah. a cup of, of salabat. Hot salabat. And biglang, I, it was afternoon and I woke up, basa na yun. <laughs> Sabi ko, paano ako nakatulog? Biglang na ako bumagsak. You know, hindi ka inantok mo na boom, ganun. Na in the middle of, kaya I, I scheduled this earlier. I said, oh my God, I might fall asleep. So I'm drinking uh, coffee now. You know, <laughs> para kissing ako. So I, I wish this was a real you know, but I, I I hope that the people that weren't able to ask questions, our friends from the press and, and everywhere else, maraming maraming salamat for joining us. I hope that you were able to hear our answers to the questions of your colleagues. And I would like to thank, um, again, Giselle, thank you for hosting this. For, for Thank you. It's my honor because I'm oh, a Sharon, yeah. <laughs> You should, you should, we should really mo- do a movie together. Also, you should be in a, in a movie with me, not Thank just in Madame Chairman before. <laughs> but <laughs> I love Giselle, and she's really one of the smartest in the industry. Magna ka ba o suma, di ba? Magna, 1.26. Magna. <laughs> 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 you see? Did you go to UP? UP. UP. 1.26? Nung nag- Sayang, no? 0.01 lang, suma na. <laughs> Uy, no, nag-sem ako sa UPOU. Ang average ko, 1.25. Oh, edi suma ka. Hindi, <laughs> isang sem lang yun. Sayang. Kasi pinangan ako si Miel. Sayang. I love Last you. na lang daw from Ian Farinas. Uh, ah, from Ian, what I, of course. Yeah, from what the size to what size daw yung breast reduction mo. Kasi di ba we were talking yet. about? Ah, no, no. I was a 40D. Sana all. <laughs> no, no, no. Dahil it was, no, no. Buti kong, I'm so sorry to talk about, this is for the women. Walang mali siya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking about it. Um, It was a 40, my, this ba, it's a 40D and obviously my chest is no longer. So now, ano na siya ngayon? So, no. Balat kasi at taba yun. I don't know pa. Kasi ko, oh, you know, lang. so, but yung, 38 na yan. Mga ganon, 38, 36. My usual was 36. Um, I was if smarter. Her- Pag pumapayat ako noon, mga 34B, ganyan. Pero, and then I went up to a 30. And then when I had children, and I breastfed and breastfed, ayun na. And then I gained so much weight. And then when you lose all that weight, imagine the skin and the fat na naiiwan. Oh. Yes. Well, good for you. Congratulations. You, I just wanted Sana to... Sana mo sa akin yung fat, no? <laughs> Madali na. Kailangan! One of the best figures in showbiz, sira, ulo ka. I love oh, you. I love you. From God, my God. <laughs> oh, ate Ian. Di ko pa, pero nagpalita. Tsaka one more thing is, do you know all my life, I lived with a deviated septum. My left septum. Ah, okay. Ito, ah, I want my Sharonian especially to know. Yung mga so nakang- you snore? Uh-huh. Pag- no, no, no. No, but the thing was, sa recordings ko, kung pakikinggan nyo, lalo later in life, he, dinig na dinig ang hinga ko yung pag after every line nadidinig sa yes, yes. recordings ko. Kala namin style mo yon No, because I would breathe from my mouth. Through no. my mouth rather. Because this one was maluwag, this one was masikip. So whenever, kahit sa swabbing eh, kahit my ENT here knew. So when I was in the States, since I, was, I already had this, I'm like, check ko na nga ito. 
do you know that I went to one of the very best doctors uh, for, for the nose, no? And when he checked this, I was so shocked at what he said. It wasn't only deviated. There was a bone pa na medyo, a bone or a cartilage na nakatukod pang ganun. Sabi niya, mm. it is, the word he used was horrible. So I had to have surgery inside my nose. And the one thing I kept repeating was, please do not change my nose. I oh. love my nose. This One nose of the most perfect noses, nose. yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 it's my Kung mother. Do not change my nose. And dami ng kinita niyan. So, and he did a great job. So now, do you know the first thing I said when he removed and I screamed because ang sakit ng tinanggal niya. Antay pa ng space dyan. Tinanggal niya yung the thing that was inside. I said, ah! And then, so, there was blood and ganyan. And then when I oh. breathed my first, when I inhaled for the first time with two nostrils, ah, with two straight septums, I went... Shut up. Sabi ko, you mean to tell me all my life this is how all of you have been breathing? <laughs> no, it's true. Now I can breathe. Now I, 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 Shut I, up. I, so I said, oh my God, I can't imagine how, I, how I'm going to sing now that I can use both nostrils <laughs> because, oh my God, I'm excited to sing. You know, so I'm waiting for the chance. Yeah. Oy. Yeah. Yeah. So, bagong but, album but, yan. Bago, I mean, ano, I bagong may Spotify. Na, may, may bago ng album na gagawin. Collection Yay. ng mga kanta ng isa sa favorite composers ko. O, sabihin ko na nga, album ni Odette Casada. I'm gonna do wow! it. Wow! Odette Casada! <laughs> Ayaw ko na itago. Inaangkin ko na siya. So, and then, <laughs> and then na. Yeah, and then we're gonna do probably a Christmas album and uh, other stuff. So, but Mega Star, my album from Star Records, is still out. Hindi ko na promote ng mabuti yun, but the songs are so great in that album. So I hope that you know they still look for it on Spotify. It's called Mega Star. It's it's my last album and it has great songs in it. Yeah. So Adisha, we would like would you like to invite everyone to support your movie Revirginize with its worldwide premiere on August 6 in KTX.ph, I want TFC, TFC, IPTV, and Sky PPV, and of course in Viva Max, Philippines, Middle no, East, no. Europe, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, and Japan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and and ano pala, August 27, Signal PPV. And, yes. and your theatrical release in the US and Canada, release. August 13. August 13. 13. Yeah. Okay, I'm um, in the US and Canada, friends and family members. Um, good news because a lot of you have been leaving comments on my IG asking how you could watch this in the US and Canada. Well, now you can see it in theaters. You're better off than our friends here, my fans here in the Philippines who will only be able to watch it online. You guys can will be able to watch it in the theater. So please look out for news on TFC and all that. But you can still get it on different platforms wherever you are around the world and all the platforms that Giselle mentioned. I am so proud of this movie. I hope that you give it a chance. Sharonians who are kind of iffy, not so sure about wanting to watch this movie, I hope that you give it a chance because you know that I would never do a movie that would not leave you feeling good afterwards. Don't focus on the mura, the cuss words, the bad words, the vulgar words. Don't focus on just that. It's not about that. It's, it's really, they were necessary for this character. And then I promise you, when you leave the theater, there'll be a smile in your heart. So give it a chance. And to all my Sharonians who have never, never stopped supporting me, no matter what, through the ups and downs of my life and my career, you know how much I love you. You are the best. You guys are some of the best gifts that the Lord Almighty, God Almighty has given me in my lifetime. Next to God and my family and my friends, you are the best gifts. Thank you so much, my Sharonians. I love you. Please watch Revirginized on August 6 on the platforms that Giselle mentioned. And of course, you can always go to um, Facebook, Viva Max, and my my official Facebook page, and Marco Gumaro's face, Facebook page, and Vin Sentiments, uh, which is Direct Daryl's uh, uh, Facebook page, Vin Sentiments Officials. Um, Vin's like V-I-N-C-E, right? 
sentiments. Um, then you'll get the whole schedule there and all the platforms you can watch this movie on. Thank you so much for joining us. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po kayo mga kababayan. At sa darating na ECQ, um, magpalakas lang po tayo ng loob. Lahat po lilipas din. Pagka madilim na madilim na madilim na doon na po sisikat ang araw. Pero sa ngayon po, matuto po tayong maghanda sa darating na pagsubok na yan. At um, mag-ingat lang po na huwag magpasakit. At kahit paano po, kahit paano may darating at darating na, na ayuda sa inyo galing sa mga taong mapagmahal kahit hindi kilala. So mahal po namin kayo. And I, I'll be praying for all of you in the country, not just our movie. But thank you so much. And um, Viva Max, Viva Films, thank you for this movie. Direct Dial, thank you. Miss Rosanna Rosses, you are uh, such a good friend and one of the best actresses I have worked with. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. And Marco Gumabang, my Pawi, I love you, sweetie. I am so glad that I was able to work with you. And I'm so proud to be your friend. Marco, could, would you like to invite them? Yes, of course. I just want to invite everyone to watch Revirginized on August 6th. Of course, uh, Viva Max Puyan. And of course, kay Ms. Sharon Coneta Pawi, thank you so much for your kind words. And it was such an honor working with you. And Sana, this won't be the last. And no, I, just I will force you. I will force them. <laughs> yes, let's do it. With the deck again. Yes. Yung pinag-pray natin, of course, yung uh, box office hit na movie natin. Yes. Uh, Lord na bahala. So let's just uh, put our faith and trust in him. And uh, let's enjoy the movie. And God bless us all. Yes, God bless us all. And he's my and kiss to you, Uh, thank you so much Ate Shawi I'll see you uh, and Marco on your streaming party this coming uh, August 6th I, August. yeah August 6th this coming please August 6th please watch our movie please watch our movie please watch our movie yes. do not focus on the mura at saka yung mga salitang na rin huwag kayong mashock kung nasya kayo tapos na yun sa trailer so panoorin yun na po enjoy yun na po and you will see in yes. the end I promise you you will feel happy di ba no Bawi okay thank you everyone and thank you Giselle thank I you love you thank you Ate Shawi thank you Marco and thank you to all our vlogger and media participants we thank apologize thank you Dolly for... thank you Dolly for joining us thank you we everybody. apologize for those that we weren't able to ask uh, due to uh time constraints again for uh, more updates on Revirginize like and follow Viva Max's official social media accounts for Facebook Instagram and Twitter it's at Viva Max PH also and, at really yes. Sharon Cuneta on IG and Sharon Cuneta Facebook official uh, Sharon Cuneta official on Facebook and of course Twitter Sharon Cuneta underscore 12 Thank you very much. And the Sharon Coneta Network on Instagram and on Facebook as well. And Marco. Marco. Yes, Marco. Of course, sa akin, sa Instagram page ko, at Gumabo Marco. And also sa Facebook. Gumabo page. Marco, no dot, di ba? Someone Marco. has to. Yeah, Gumabo Marco. Gumabo straight Marco. for the check. And of course, uh, Facebook, <laughs> Marco Gumabo. Thank you, guys. Ako na rin, ako na rin, Giselle Sanchez on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Kasi... <laughs> Kasi live, live kayo kay, ano eh, kay Ate Shawi na Facebook. Oh, Ang dami-dami ng nanonood. And Marcos thank Facebook. You, thank you, Giselle. We should support thank you. Thank you. Also. Yes. Um, no, thank I want to say thank you because we we had Philippine star kanina. But at least Dolly joined. Kahit di naman siya napakita. But Dolly, thank you to Philippine Daily Inquirer for your support as well. And all the major uh, papers that are... Um, um, have joined us and all our friends from the press, our blogger friends, and everybody from all over the world. Maraming salamat po. August 6th, Revirginized on Viva Max. Thank you yes. very much. God bless Get excited you. at sabay-sabay nating tangkilikin ang pinakamakipot, pinakamainit, at pinakamasikip na pelikula ng taon, Revirginized. Sorry, <laughs> Viva. Pari, nakikita pala. Pero ang ganda. Pari pala. Ang sexy ng tapa. Ang sexy. Gusto ko siya. Very vampire. Uh, look, uh, oh. But look pa, who is falling. <laughs> Oo oh, nga. Actually, medyo, medyo, na, medyo na bother ako kasi galaw ka ng galaw. <laughs> Ayan mo. Di pa. Mas normal. Ganda. Kasi Tsaka you look, you look so slim because of that. 
Thank Kasi nakaka, nakakalaki talaga ang oh. babaeng may malaking hinaharap. Pero hindi ko nakikita ang tumaba eh. Hindi <laughs> naman. Hindi hey, naman. Hindi, <laughs> ano yan sa akin, effortless, painless yung 10 pounds sa akin mawala. <laughs> okay. So we just wanna uh, remind everybody uh, for um, our, ano, for the theatrical release, it's on August 13. So, hindi siya August 6, ha? Yeah, for U.S. Uh, in the United yeah. States and in Canada. These yes. These letters, i- i- makikita na lang sa pages sa uh, ng Viva Max at ng yes. Family Marco, okay? Yeah. For okay. Signal PPV, it's August 27. And for Viva Max, it will be shown in Philippines, Middle East, Europe, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, and Japan. Japan. And uh, that will be on Wala August 6. Korea? Wala bang Korea? Wala, wala, walang Korea. Hindi makikita ng mga idol mo doon. <laughs> Sige na, makanood na ng Kidra. <laughs> it will also be shown in streaming platforms such as ktx.ph which has now a record uh, breaking uh, pre-advance sales. Congratulations, oh, Ate Shawi and Marco. I want TFC, TFC IPTV, and Sky PPV. So, maraming maraming salamat. We hope that you can all support this. And uh, please watch this trailer again. I love your trailer. I, I love, love it. You, I love you, My Charmy. Everyone, we love you. We love you. Ate Shawi. Bye, Marco. Bye. 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 Thank you.